As well as showing you what I did wrong, I'm also going to show you how to make it if you want to. So here is the pattern you're going to want to use if you do want to make it. Um, I have some of the information there at the bottom. And yeah, so if you do want to make this, you can use this pattern and I'm going to show you a few of the steps here. But I'm also briefly going to show you what I did wrong and how I fixed it. So. So I started off by making my first square, which is 6.5 inches by 6.5 inches. And I chained 26 here to achieve my 6.5 inches. Um, this may differ for you depending on what type of yarn you're using. Um, but yeah, so there's my 26 chains right there. And so what I'm gonna do, you know, as you know, we're gonna go into the fourth chain from the hook and we're just gonna double crochet all the way down. Um, if you're not used to any of these steps or you're a beginner, please do feel free to check out my um, basic stitches video and um, where I go over, over like chains and double crochets and different things like that. So if you're unsure, go check that out and come back here um, whenever you're ready. So basically I'm gonna go double crocheting all the way down to the bottom of the row. And then I'm gonna chain one and do my turning stitch. Again, this is in the basics video, so you can refer to that if you're not sure. But it's basically just single crochet into that first stitch there. And then we're gonna do a second single crochet into the second loop from our hook. So the one on the left, right there. And we're gonna single crochet in there. And that is essentially our turning stitch. And then we're gonna double crochet into every stitch along the row until we get to the end where we do that again, the turning stitch, and then we double crochet. So, you know, basically we're just repeating the same thing over and over again until we get to 13 rows and it's gonna look like that. So that's just me tying off. So yeah, okay, this is what I did wrong. Please do not do this. So I basically wanted to do like, a cardigan style moment like you know the ones that have like the diagonal bit at the top anyway didn't work out do not do what I did please do not attempt it well you can attempt it but you know do better than I did and leave room for the shoulder because I did not um I'm just so this is basically where I went wrong so here are all my squares I made 50 squares in total um ignore the triangles at the top they should be actual squares if you're making it but yeah here are all my squares um it's a big job so you know fair play if you've if you get this far and um, because you know it takes a while so anyway these are all my squares and I'm just gonna briefly lay them out now in a second just to show you what they look like when they are kind of looking like they're attached you know the kind of vibe so that's what it's gonna look like your these triangles will be squares for you though um so to, so we're going to start on the ribbing now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain 12 which is 2 inches so that is going to be the length or the height even sorry of our ribbing um, so 12 chains there and we're just going to be doing front loop single crochets for this ribbing um, in general so to start off that um, pattern or you know type of stitch we have to do one row of normal single crochets so I'm just going to go all the way down this row with a normal single crochet and then once I get to the end of the row I'm just going to chain one and turn my work and then we're going to be looking at that V on top and we're going to be sticking our hook right through the middle to get that front loop on our hook and then we're just going to single crochet normally into that stitch there and we're going to go all the way down the row doing our front loop single crochet into every stitch along. And then, so the length of these are gonna vary. So I think we're gonna be having to create five different pieces of ribbing. Um, so two of them are gonna be nine inches. Those are for the wrists. Um, obviously make them bigger if you need to um, or smaller depending. We're gonna need two that are 13 inches and we're gonna need one long one that is 26 inches long. And they're gonna correlate to, uh, so the 26 inch is gonna be for the back piece, 13 for the two front pieces and the nine for the wrists. Um, so yeah, complete them. And now what we're gonna do is attach our squares together. So this bit, 
was so tricky for me it's also very time consuming but this is basically how you do it and it's such like a neat kind of way of doing it uh, because I've never been able to like get it looking like this before so I thought I'd share so basically all you do so get the yarn you know get it through double knot it on secure it tightly um at the bottom there leave a tail so you can weave in the end there at the end so we're gonna get our tapestry needle there and just get that onto our yarn and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the top loops here okay so see the way I've got that top loop on my needle just there let's see if we can get a better image there we go so grabbing that top loop there and we're going to grab the top loop on the white so I have to turn a little bit to find it so grabbing the top loops of both squares going through them and pulling tight so just pulling the the yarn through like so and I'm always going in from right to left. So I'm starting on the green side and I'm going over to the white side and I'm going into every single stitch along because it is quite obvious which stitches are next, which is so handy. So there's no kind of like second guessing um, here. So yeah, going in to the top loops or the loops closest to you um, every time going all the way along until, until we reach the end and then we can either so like at that point you kind of have the option to either tie off and like kind of start a new one or you can go like upwards like attach another square with the same piece of yarn if you have enough um that can be handy um but yeah it's all kind of up to you and that's what it's gonna look like at the end or like not the end but you know what i mean like when the back piece is all kind of attached so now we're gonna attach the ribbing onto the bottom um so i have my ribbing like placed on the bottom of my work right sides together and then the outsides of both are kind of like hanging <laughs> down you can see what i'm doing here um but i am basically slip stitching them together like so And so like that seam is going to be on the inside so we're not going to be able to see it i'm sorry if this isn't clear um but this is really just kind of a quick overview of what i did obviously if i was doing a tutorial i'd be doing this in super great detail but um i just thought this you know be better there's so many tutorials out there for the harry Styles cardigan i just thought i'd give you a quick overview um of what i did so actually this is quite interesting so for the sleeves um i basically so i attached my yarn onto the side and I wanted to create like a big puff sleeve basically a big puffy sleeve so what I did was I so I attached it there double knotted it on chained one and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip a few purple stitches and then I'm going to pull the white back and go into the stitch right beside my starting stitch so I'm skipping a few purple stitches, but I'm going into the very next stitch on the white. So skipping and then pulling it back like so. And then slip stitching in there. So skipping a few purple stitches and then pulling it right back. Then we're gonna do that again, skip a few purple pull it back and go into the next stitch on the white and it creates such a nice sleeve like I was so I I didn't think this was gonna work this was me literally improvising I was like oh my god how am I gonna do this but thank god it worked and thank god it worked well because <laughs> you know could it could have been another hassle but it was actually okay so yeah this is how i did it super handy nice outcome um and i'm going to show you briefly now in a second what it's kind of going to start looking like kind of a pleated effect is that the right word to use pleated i'm not sure it's nice though so yeah it's kind of going to start looking like that 
and the whole thing will fit on there you go so the whole thing will fit um like so and then we need to attach um okay so this is what it's going to look like again these triangles for you will be squares see at the very top that like the very top of the triangle that is how much room i left for my shoulders i'm so sorry like what was i thinking anyway so tragic and i cannot believe i didn't notice like i'm still out here filming a tutorial emma please realize like it's so funny anyway i have to laugh but anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sew up the sides right sides facing um i just put a stitch marker right underneath the sleeve so i know where to stitch mark so i know where to slip stitch up to um to attach the sides so here's me just slip stitching um the sides together like so and i'm gonna go all the way up to the stitch marker tie off here's me looking at the sleeve again and here's me attaching the sleeve so i understand that this probably isn't very clear what i'm doing um, but if you do want to know how to attach a sleeve, you can look at my sweater tutorial, the pink one. Um, I show you how to attach uh, sleeves in that one in great detail if you would like to have a look at that one. So basically, yeah, just attach your sleeves and then we're going to do the kind of like white trim on the front. So I'm going to go all the way around, starting at the bottom of the ribbing, going all the way around to the other side of the ribbing um, on the front. So I'm gonna start at the bottom, I think left-hand side, and I'm just attaching my yarn. And I am, so yeah, attaching it, chaining one. And I am single crocheting into every stitch along to create the trim. Um, and I did six rows of single crochet for this. Or I did three rows of single crochet and then three rows of half double crochet, but that was my mistake. I would recommend doing six rows of single crochet. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how I fixed what I did wrong. So I'm going to come back now in a second. Thank you so much for watching this bit part of the tutorial and I'll see you in a second. Mm -hmm. 